In this video we'll look at how to tag a table. I've found in my tags list where the table is in my document. So I've got heading level 3 tables and then the paragraph before it. Let's have a look first at the information inside this table. So when coding in HTML we use these four tags for a table. So we always have to start by telling that it is a table that has a table tag. Then within the table there are rows. So we will have one, two, three, four, five TR tags to show that there are five rows. Within each row you will either have TH tags for table headers or TD tags for table data. We'll come back to those in a moment. For now I'm going to create a table tag. So I'm going to right click on the item immediately before it and add a new tag. I'm going to find table. And here's my table tag in the tags list. I'm now going to create my first TR tag. So I'm going to right click and click new tag. And here's table row. Similar to what we did with lists, I need that table row to be nested inside the table. So I'm going to drag it up and put it inside the table. You can just see how the line moves when you're inside the table. And I can see that I have five rows, so I want five TR tags. I'll create all of those first. There. So now I have a table with five table rows. I'm going to start with the first row. The first row contains three table headers. So I'm going to right click and create my first table header tag. And I want a table header cell, TH. And again I'm going to need that to be inside the row. So I'm going to drag it up slightly so that it's nested. So we now have a table, within that we have a row, within that we have a header. I'll just create two more headers and then we'll start to associate some text. So the first table header, I'll click to highlight it, select the text, right click and create tag from selection. I'll do the same with the next one, right click and the last one. and as each one has content associated with it you can see that it can be opened, it has this little arrow. So now if I select the table row the whole row is highlighted in pink boxes. If I click on each individual table header then they are highlighted. I'm going to close that row and go to the next row. In each of the following rows I want to put a table data cell, three in each row. So I'll work one row at a time, first of all creating the TD cell, then dragging it into the row. It's much easier to do this the first time because then subsequent cells are already nested. So now I'm going to um, click on the first of my table data cells, select the text and create the tag and so on. And again, I can click on the table row and everything is highlighted and each individual cell to check that they're in the correct order. We'll now speed up the video and create the remaining table data cells within each row.
So the next thing I'm going to do is test that everything is definitely in the correct order. So first of all, if I highlight my whole table, I have this. I have noticed that there's something at the bottom that I might want to find and get rid of. So in this table row, I have three table headers. In this table row, I have three data cells. In this table row, three data cells. In this table row, three data cells. And in this table row, OK, so now I can see that this is where I've got the extra piece of information. Let's have a little look at that. And it's here. I'm going to delete that tag. So now that TD doesn't have it, the TR doesn't have it, and the table doesn't have it. Let's see how JAWS reads this table. Heading level 3 tables. Table tags are also easier to understand if you have used HTML. A table is tagged as follows, marking the table, then the rows, then header cells and data cells. Table with three columns and five rows. Tag nested within purpose. Table n slasher tells the screen reader that the content is a table. TR table tells the screen reader how many rows the table has. THTR tells the screen reader that the content is a header and also how many columns the table has. TDTR tells the screen reader that the content is data. Table end. Tag. Nested within. Purpose. Nested tag. Nested within. Purpose. Table. N slasher. Tells the screen reader that the content is a table. TR. Table. Tells the screen reader how many rows the table has. TH. TR. Tells the screen reader that the content is a header and also how many columns the table has. TD. TR. Tells the screen reader that the content is data. Table end.